Hey, Mike from Lakeshore 3D here. I was just about ready to hook up this hose to my exhaust system for a temporary laser hookup. And I realized these hoses can be really difficult to get onto exhaust ends and such. So I thought I'd show you the trick that I've been doing for a while. I haven't seen anybody do a video on it. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. Let's check it out. Okay, so I could start with this end here since it's pretty clean, but for demonstrations purposes, I'm gonna cut this hose. Uh, <clears throat> what I like to do is just start at the middle between the two metal rings and just start cutting around till you get basically back to where you started from, but you'll be one coil over. So I started there, went all the way around to there. And then you can cut the wire and then finish cutting your hose. That way you've got a nice start and finish. Now you want to be really careful because this tip of this wire can be very sharp. So what I like to do with, to start with is I take my piece of tape, which I'm using two inch gaffers tape. Uh, it seems to be uh, nice for this type of stuff and it's what I had laying around. Uh, you can use other tapes. I don't suggest using any metal tape because it doesn't have any stretch to it. Uh, so what I like to do is take this first coil and set it right up against that next one and then fold any extra tube that you have over, fold that under and then put your tape halfway on here and then fold it to the inside. And I'm pulling outward so that this sits flat and that'll be inside your hose there. That'll keep that starting wire in control. And then what we want to do is kind of tuck this in. You'll probably have to tuck it in as you go. Uh, now, once I've got that on there, I take about 18 inches of tape and eyeball it. And then I start at this point, half on, half off your hose, and then just wrap that around. And all you're concerned about right now is the outside. It's much easier when your tape doesn't stick to the table. Most of the time I do this freestanding and just wrap that around, pressing it on as we go. And then as you get a little bit closer, you'll want to transition over onto the other row of wire and just Follow that all the way around till she's done. You don't want to have too many overlaps. I've got a few inches here because uh, the more you get, the more you're going to add dimension to the inside. So then you should end up with something like this. And then I usually start at the seam here and just start tucking that in and make sure your hose is pulled. And it can be a little tricky sometimes, but, uh, you just tuck that under. That's one nice thing about the gaffer's tape is it's uh, a low stick tape. And you just tuck that in all the way around and press that on there. And that'll make getting that onto an exhaust end much easier. And that also gives the clamp something to sit on instead of this part of the clamp digging into your hose and if you do have a clamp but the inside part of the clamp is sticking too far out uh, you can always take a pair of pliers and just bend that tab down a little bit so that's a smoother transition so then you just put your hose your clamp on the hose and then when you get to your exhaust port wherever that may be you can uh, get it started on one side. It's 
much easier to do when it's pointed towards you. And then you can use your fingernails if you have any and pull that hose on to where you need it. And then you can put your clamp on and tighten down your clamp. Like so. And you've got a nice neat connection that's the uh, tape helps seal that a bit, keeps that uh, whole wire under control when you get started. And I've been doing that for a while and never had any problems. So I hope this helps you. And of course, message me, comment if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.